Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Italians reject ever closer union in Europe EU regulators target Google over privacy policies More legislation on financial transaction tax Plus, EU Agriculture Minister discusses horse meat scandal I'm Rick Timmis and this is the UNIT Nightly News First up, from our homepage, the elections in Italy have really put the wind up our kleptocrats. And <laughs> let's face it, they don't like it up em. It appears that no definite consensus was reached to achieve a majority in the Italian Parliament. The result sent shudders through the financial markets. This article looks into the details of the situation. Internal assessments here at the unit think that this could well be the blue touch paper to the next EU fiscal fireworks show. Controversy in the digital universe once again, Google has found itself under scrutiny after changes to its privacy policy sparked uproar. Well, the EU regulators are taking it to the big data analytics and search giant, whose strapline is, we're not evil. This article looks at the details surrounding this investigation. Our fiscal fiddling fiduciaries back in the hemicircle of Mordor have been busy striking scribe to parchment once again. In our legislation section, we have more detail with regard to the thorny Tobin tax. This new financial transaction tax, which makes up one aspect of the overall fiscal integration strategy, this report makes recommendations to enhance cooperation, essentially a piece of legislature designed to catalyse the fiscal union. New updates to our audio library from an interesting source, npr.org. Today we have a new short audio interview with the EU Agriculture Minister with regard to this latest horsemeat scandal. This story has exploded in the media, perhaps overtly so. The overarching issue looks to the pressures on economies creating an increase of unwanted horse stock coupled with reduced inspection regimes from abattoirs which created an opportunity for the unscrupulous. Today in our video library, former official of the Bank of England, Dr Eric Edmund, considers the motives behind the creation of the European Union, why the agenda has always been political. In episode 9 of Eric's analysis, Eric asks, what are the implications for a union trying to bring about political unity through the boundaries of economic policy? And finally, Tim Grant wrote in to congratulate us on the show and also asked why we are so against the EU. Well, firstly, thanks Tim. We love it when folks get in touch with us, so please do keep your thoughts coming. To answer Tim's question, the unit is neither pro or anti-EU. We work hard to be completely non-partisan. We believe that any government structure must be of the people, for the people. It must be democratic and broadly representative of everyone. Our role is to make sure that you get clear and interesting information presented in a digestible format so that you can make the most informed decision when it comes to exercising your voting rights. That's all from me at The Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit, and do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, the Word program is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.